Welcome to this Fusion 360 design tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom ornament or a coaster for a special occasion. Let's get started. Start off with a center circle of 85 millimeter diameter and offset that by two millimeters for the outside rim. Next, we're going to create a hanger for the top of the ornament. Start with a line to center it. Then we're going to use fixed point splines to create a curve, not being very particular about the points, so we can adjust them later to our liking. Once we get the curve that we desire, we're going to use a mirror sketch object to complete the hanger. Next, we'll do a circle through which a hook could be inserted when we actually hang the ornament and extrude that. Extrude all of the little pieces around the outside. Next, create a center rectangle with lines used for alignment later on above and below the center rectangle. Extrude. You can easily create a five-pointed star by starting with a polygon of five sides. Then just draw lines connecting each point of the polygon to create your star. To get different sizes of the star, I found it easy to extrude the star first, then use Modify Scale to adjust the size. We'll move the star into the center and align. Then use Modify Scale. You'll need to experiment a little bit with the size and position of the star to get it to your liking. What I found was most pleasing was to position the star sort of overhanging the rectangle and a little bit over the hanger and outside boundary. Next, create a copy of the star that will adjust the size of to a smaller version, which will fill out and repeat in the inside of the ornament. Orient the star so it has contact on at least three other or more points of the extruded objects. You want to create a pattern of connected objects. To create the heart, use a fixed point spline tool and again, you don't have to be too careful about the positions of the points. You can adjust these to your liking. Extrude, scale, and orient the heart in the position that you would like.
Once you create a pattern that you like, use Create Mirror to repeat the pattern on the other side of the main star. To create another frame for a date text object, we're going to create a center rectangle on the line at the bottom of the, of the main rectangle that we created earlier. To create some fancy scroll work around the outside of this text frame, use fixed point splines in a gentle curve, taking care to get the curves close to the edges of the center rectangle on the outside. Use a create pipe operation based on the curve you just created and extrude at one millimeter. Once again, use scale and move object operations to get the extruded object connected to the other objects in the ornament. When you're happy with the appearance of the scroll work, use another create mirror operation and then extrude the center rectangle of the scroll work. To fill the spaces next to the scroll work, copy the stars and heart objects and scale and move so you get a pleasing complementary pattern on the bottom part of the ornament. To create text, hide the bodies and use a sketch text object. Make sure you've captured in selection all of the text that you're going to extrude and then do an extrude. Extruding the text will create a large number of bodies. Select the stars and hearts elements on the bottom of the ornament and do a create mirror operation. Hide all the bodies and use a create text sketch object to insert a date in the lower rectangle. Extrude. All of the decorative objects, the stars, hearts, and text, are extruded at three millimeters. The background objects, like the rectangle hanger and outside, are extruded at two millimeters. This way, the text will stand above the background objects. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.